Hi, how's it going? So, wow, that's really close. Hi everybody. So today we're here at Captain's Corner. It's a very high-end restaurant here in Louisville. It's good times. Obviously you can see that a lot of people are having a lot of fun up there. This is pretty much your typical, you know, kind of high-end, you know, boating restaurant, you know. That's pretty much what this place is. Um, I had the brisket. The brisket, it came on like a bed of, of breading, as well as with barbecue sauce and slaw. Eh? I mean, I really don't know if it was really worth what it cost, but it was, it, it was okay. I mean, it's not the best brisket I've had, but it's not the worst. Yeah. So... Cora, what do you think of this place? Awesome. Is it awesome? <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Haley. Hi. hi. They like the yellow boat. They like to the people at home. Oh, really? Yes, really. Hi. This is my sister, Sarah. You couldn't tell. No, not at all. I don't look like a dude. I mean, <laughs> no resemblance at all, right? Oh, yeah. My mouth don't match. No. <laughs> it's not the glasses either. I look better. That's debatable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here go. Everybody, this is my great aunt Charlene, and she is very great. Say hi Whoa. to everybody at home. Hi, everybody at home. <laughs> okay. Nice if, to see if, you, Lee. If, if you could impart the world with one word of wisdom over the day. Have faith in yourself. And hope. Hope and, is the biggest thing. And the funny thing is, is that that's actually very true because like, you know, before I actually started being more confident myself, I felt like I couldn't do anything. And guess what? You can. I, I couldn't do anything. Yes, oh, well, yeah, yeah, but and, you can. But, you need, but as you soon as I started hope. to, as soon as I started to, yeah. It all started coming, you know? So there we go. Have faith in yourself and hope. All right. This is my granddad. This is the greatest man that has ever lived. Yes, yes, yes. He's the greatest man that ever lived. So, granddad, give us one sentence that will... Give us three or four. How about this? Okay, give us three or four sentences that will be... Wonderful life advice. First thing is that the Bible is the, is the major identifier of truth. Mm -hmm. if it's, if whatever is in, in consistency with the Bible, 
that's good. And if it's not, it's questionable or not good. Right. If it opposes you, it says you then that's crazy. Okay. okay. That's number one. <laughs> that's number one. Okay. Another, another thing is get to bed early and get up early. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Okay, so we're back from captain's quarters. Kids are in bed. And now, yeehaw. Um, I am thoroughly unimpressed. My head still hurts. Her head still hurts. A lot. A lot. Anyway, so, oh, let's do some math, okay? It's going to make my head hurt even more. Well, get out your phone and let's, get, let's do the calculator. All right, so, 18 people, 8. And the bill was, Ooh. the bill was $400. Let's see if you can figure this out before Stacy does. If you do, leave a comment below. Let us know. Whole lot of twos. Twenty-two dollars per person. That's really not that bad. It's not that bad, but at the same time, you could, you know, honestly, the way I felt about it was that the food wasn't worth $22. I felt like, because I got the brisket, and I felt like the brisket was a bit dry, and it seemed like something that you could get at, um, well, any barbecue place for maybe, I don't know, five or six bucks. I, I felt like that we, we got kind of, Screwed on that one. Uh, Stacy had, they call it the black. It's a bacon, lettuce, avocado, and tomato sandwich. Uh, what'd you think of that, honey? It was good. It's exactly what it was. Bacon, lettuce, avocado, and tomato. tomato sandwich. The bread was really good. It was a sunflower bread. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed the, the, the toast. Yeah. Well, I mean, my meal came with, they call it barbecue beans. It's it's baked beans with barbecue sauce, stuff like that. Um, also came with their slaw. And honestly, I felt like the slaw was very bland. And I felt like the beans just weren't good. I mean, just really wasn't very good. Um, that's the kind of place that you go for ambiance. That's somewhere that you go to have a good time when you're rich and you have a boat and you have, you know, a mile long hair and, you know, it's, it's stuff like that. It's 
very much that kind of place. I wasn't impressed. I feel like that for that much money, it should have been a whole lot better. But that's just me. Would we go back to Captain's Quarters? No. No. I mean, it's a cool place. It's it's really awesome that they had, you know, the back patio area, you know, where they could play live music and stuff like that. But it, it, once again, it's not us. It's not our style. It's not the kind of place that we would go to. And uh, I, I'm just thoroughly, really not impressed at all. It's good seeing family, though. Got to see my uh, great aunt Charlene. Got to see granddad, mom, dad, uh, Sarah, her husband Frank, and a whole bunch of other people. So that was cool. I'm glad we got to see them. Because I'm pretty sure that when we move to Florida, it's a very good chance we're never going to see Charlene and Ardo ever again. I mean, the last time I saw them was when I was a kid. And let's be realistic about this. I don't think it's going to happen. Anyway, so I just feel like that with Captain's Quarters, for that much money, there's better places to go in Louisville. Um, if you're coming through Louisville and someone says, hey, let's go to Captain Cor Captain's Quarters. Uh, I don't know about that. I'll pay. Okay. No big deal. But, I, I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem worth it to me. Now that I've repeated myself half a million times, um, what do we have on the docket for tomorrow? Um, I don't know. It's going to rain. Hmm. Hmm. We should make the kids do a puppet show. Oh, yes. And you know what that means. Whenever we have puppets. Stinky McButthole? His name is not Stinky McButthole. See what I have to deal with. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Uh, please, I'm trying to get. I, I, I'm trying to get this out there because I really like doing it, and Stacy really likes doing it. And uh, hi, Heather. We're gonna get you in a video soon. Don't be jealous. Mm-hmm. Soon, at some point. Um. With that said, I I'd say. I think we need less alcohol and more coffee more coffee <laughs> <laughs> I love you I love you Take a kiss. Mm. Mm. gotta edit this out right nope